Stan Gibalisco here from the Nerd Castle Kitchen, where I am refrying some vegetables that were done up in a crock pot yesterday. I had done a double uh, dose or a double dinner of vegetables and this meat, which is Rancher's Pride Pork. They do pork really well, Rancher's Pride. So I'm refrying that. It was done up in the crock pot, but it didn't quite get done enough uh, for my liking in the crock pot alone, so I'm going to blacken it on the outside and warm it up. Kept it in the fridge overnight. Now these veggies, they did get done up enough in the crock pot, so I don't want to make them any mushier than they already are. What I'm going to do, though, just before I dish them up, uh, I've added some spices here. I've added a little bit of chili powder, some chopped onion, salt, and pepper. And just before I dish them up in this bowl right there, I'm going to add these sunflower seeds, maybe about a heaping tablespoon full. Maybe not even quite that much. Sunflower seeds, you know, they in small amounts they give a really good nutty, crunchy uh, addition to vegetable dishes like this. But you have to make sure to add them at the very last minute so that they don't get mushy from the water in the veggies. Now the this I'm going to blacken. Um, it's, these are both on medium, these skillets. Well, actually, the veggies are on medium low. There's maybe a tablespoonful of butter in the bottom of these veggies here to give them a few extra calories and a little extra flavor. As for the meat, just enough oil to keep it from sticking. There's a little bit of residual veggies and chopped onion on that meat. And uh, Rancher's Pride adds their own spice to this particular kind of pork. Which, by the way, don't get the idea that pork has a lot of fat in it, necessarily. Uh, last night, uh, when I refried this pork, after taking it right out of the crock pot, because it wasn't quite done enough, uh, no fat uh, cooked out at all. I mean, you just couldn't find it in there. So. That's the deal here. It's kind of an experiment. I just sort of put spices in as I feel the, feel the uh, urge. And then just fry them up, you know, when uh, the, the, you ask how long to cook these things. Well, cook them just long enough until they're done and then not any longer. Hopefully not much longer. Although with pork, you can go a little bit too far and it'll forgive you. In fact, it's a good idea to err on the side of overcooking on the, in the case of pork. Stan Gibalisco, signing off from the Nerd Castle Kitchen. Till after I've had this meal, I guess. So long.